last year he finds himself in the number five position right now. It's Matt Forehand. And you can see a little Instagram love there for Matt Forehand. Also filming with faction skis in, in the backcountry, in the streets, always doing technical stuff. That's why he's got the hurt back for picking up that snowmobile, probably trying to dig himself out from a nice stuck. But he's back on course, and this is honestly where he's the most comfortable. So solid, skis every day, nine to four. He is a force in the park, and look at that tail grab. The Switch 1260, so perfect. Will he see the 1800 potentially on this bottom jump? He's doing it! Is he gonna put it down? Matt he does! Forehand! Absolutely gigantic triple cork, 1800. So smooth through the rails, and then spinning to the moon on that last and final jump. That is a trick that scored a huge score last night in big air. And he's just deciding, you know what? It's not just a big air trick. I'm bringing it all out in X Games slope style. Take another look at this whole run. The double cork nine. Look at that grab right underfoot. We're going all the way up again on the Thayer's height meter for this one. Mac Forehand wants some redemption after last night's big air finish. Look at this set. He's so upright at the start. It's unlike anyone else's in the game. Wraps it in the middle there and then just comes around. I don't know how he gets that around. This one is different than it looked last night. It's so upright at the beginning and just has to wobble it around and goes so far down that landing. Absolutely huge run for Mac Forehand. Had to settle for fifth in big air last night. He was sitting in fifth place pre-run. What is it gonna be? He needed 80 to jump into the medals. He's in for his third and final attempt. Oh, this is Alex's best run yet on that first rail. And the scores are so high. Look at all those scores in the 90s. Alex got that 77, but just needs to clean everything up and get all the way through this course. I can't believe he can pretzel that. That is switch 270, backside switch up. So technical to get the final pretzel. There, so smooth on the shark fin. That double 12 spinning alley-oop. Into the switch, 14. Did he get the grab good on that one? He's going switch. Will we see that pretzel switch right side rotation? Alex Puts it Hill! Down. That was a huge score last night in X Games Big Air. The switch right side 1080, and he pretzels it in the air. You can hear him. I've never seen Alex get that intense. He's going, <laughs> yes, at the bottom. The excitement from him. He was looking at a gold medal last night and had to settle for silver in Big Air. Looking for more hardware here today. Boom, look at that switch up to the flat there. So technical. And this might not look like a ton, but it's dancing. It's perfect choreography, as Kristen talked about. The switch up, the pretzel, everything coming together. Here's that 12, I was, or the 14, excuse me. I was worried about the grab, but I had nothing to worry about because Alex knows how to do it right. This one, it's cork, but it almost goes side cork there. And watch this at the end. Shifts the body. I don't know how he holds that from not going to 1260. It is a 14 or a 1080 instead of a 1260. And it's a pretzel, as you see. Of course, we got keep, an upgrade here in 2024. Keep on chatting it. Tell us what you think, because I am having a blast watching this right now. It is ski slope style at its finest. This is Norway's Burke Root in for attempt at number two, sitting down in that ninth position pre-run. Getting tech up top on the rails here. Let's see this back three switch up transfer. That's what gave him trouble earlier. And we know Burke. He excels on the jump. No way was that that good. That's a right side 16. There's that switch 16. Will he go even bigger in the final jump? He's a big air master. The double bio. Oh, yes. just squeaks it around. Burke Rude finally puts down a run, gets the rails and jump combinations together. I'm still dumbfounded by that right side 16. That was huge. And you see the relief on his face after oh coming God. up short in big air last night. Yeah, seventh last night. He was frustrated with that first run here. Ooh. And there is the relief. There's the redemption that he was looking for here in round number two. He had that 34 the first go around, had him in ninth.
Let's take a look at some replays, and then we'll see what the judges think. Wrapped up, gets the safety grab, and this one was huge. It's the biggest air almost all day, and he's doing a right side 16. And here he's diving forward in that final one, wrapping around. Take a look at this landing, though. We just got to eyeball this final jump landing. He's so good at this trick, too. Just that ability to spin so much, but be composed with the grab. Oh, man, no hands down. He's able to just squeak it out. And ah, the judges, I think they're going to love that one. Oh, yeah. Immaculate performance from Burke Rude. Yeah, and I mean, just coming off the frustration from last night, he had to settle for seventh in big air. You can see the frustration on his face in that last run, but Mac Forehand, he had silver last year. He's going to get another medal this year, taking a bronze. Alex Hall with his second silver medal of the weekend. He got one last night in big air. He doubles up, but it's Burke Rude who finally tastes X Games gold here, Tom. Can we give out more medals every round?